When talking about the hydropower plant in the past, many people first think about Namgeum 1 hydropower plant or Namgeum 1 HPP, as it was a large, important, and famous project in Laos. Background of Namgeum River With a length of 354 kilometers, the Namgeum River originated in Nyotgeum village, back district of Sinkwang province, and is one of the Mekong River's branches. The Namgeum River flows through Saisombund and Vingchan provinces before it reached Mekong River in Pakngeum district, Vingchan capital. The Namgeum River offers hydropower potential of up to 1,600 megawatt. Now, five hydropower projects have been constructed along the Namgeum River. Namgeum 1 HPP is the first project following Namgeum 2, 3, 4, and Namgeum 5 which are located in Sengkwang province. Namgeum 1 HPP was the first and the largest dams in Laos. After the constructions of the first phase, the following phase were carried out, which consisted of Phase 1 started in 1968 and finished in 1971. The main construction included the concrete gravity dam, powerhouse for two turbines with 15 megawatts each. The total installed capacity for the phase one was 30 megawatt. Phase two started in 1976 and finished in 1978. The main construction consisted of the installation of the four spillways gates, pin stocks, and two turbines with 40 megawatts each. The total installed capacity in phase two is 80 megawatt. Phase 3 started in 1983 and finished in 1984. The main constructions involved the installation of a 40 megawatt Francis turbine. In 1985, Namgeum 1 HPP had a total installed capacity of 150 megawatt. Between the years 2003 and 2004, Tabai Unit 1 and 2 were overhauled to increase the installed capacity from 15 MW to 17.5 MW respectively. In 2004, Namgeum 1 HPP had an installed capacity of 155 MW. Not only upgrading turbines to increase the energy productions of Namgeum 1 HPP, but in 1996, the Namsong Diversion Project was constructed to divert water from Namsong River to Namgeum 1's reservoir. When the Namlek hydropower plant was completed in the year 2000, water from the project flowed to Namgeum 1's reservoir as well. The water from Namsong Diversion Project and the Namlek HPP helped the energy of the Namgeum 1 HPP increase from 865 gigawatt hour to 1025 gigawatt hours per year. Due to the potential of Namgeum 1 HPP, a new expansion project, or turbines number 7 and number 8, was constructed, started in 2015, and being completed in 2018. The new project expansion consisted of the construction of a new powerhouse for two turbines with an installed capacity of 40 MW each. The total installed capacity of this project was 80 MW. From 2017 to 2022, a new expansion project for turbine number 6 with an installed capacity of 40 MW was constructed. Namgeum 1 HPP has a total installed capacity of 275 MW for produce 1,040 gigawatt hour per year. General information. The catchment area covers 8,460 square kilometers. The full water supply level is 212 meters above the sea level. The reservoir surface covers 370 square kilometers. The reservoir can store 7,030 million cubic meters of water. It is a typical concrete gravity dam with a dam crest length being 468 meters, a wide of 6 meters, a maximum height of 70 meters. Transmission line. Transmission lines number 1, 2, 3, 
4, 6, 7, and 8. Start from the dam of the Ponsavang substations to connect other substations in the central provinces. Another 115 kV single circuit transmission line starts from the dam to Namluk HPP, about 55 km away. Namnum 1 HPP supplies electricity through transmission lines of Electricity Duy Laos, or EDL, to the provinces of Wing Chan, Boli Kham Sai, Sing Kuang, Luang Prabang, Udom Sai, Luang Nam Tha, and Wing Chan Capital. The surplus energy is exported to Thailand. Environment Namgum 1 HPP has received ISO 14001-2004 EMS twice for the year 2011 to 2016 and the latest version 2017 to 2024 from Direct Assessment Service. The technicians normally inspect the quality of water as well as a construct of conservative area to protect aquatic life near the project. Public gardens near the project are also beautifying. Social responsibility. Apart from practicing their normal activities, a diver team of the project is ready to help if there is a need from society in an emergency case. The project distributes horn speakers to villagers living downstream so they can receive messages and help from the project. We are proud to be part of electrical generation to supply the demand of communities from the past to the present and the health will be continued into the future.